At Expo 2020, legacy has been at the centre of every planning decision. And it's at the Moroccan Pavilion where you'll find the idea of legacy everywhere. Taking inspiration from its ancient villages, using rammed earth construction techniques, its pavilion merges the classic and the contemporary. Well, rammed earth construction is really the oldest construction technique that humans ever used. What we wanted to do is to lift this tradition from the vernacular into almost an industrial dimension to propose rammed earth as an alternative to concrete. As the tallest country pavilion, it is also, according to its designers, the largest rammed earth facade of its kind. It's built like a village. It's 22 houses stacked on top of each other. It's a building experience where all of these houses are connected through a single winding street. It's a building that has 10 gardens that show all of the ecosystems of Morocco. Standing as a country pavilion for now, in six months' time, it will take on another lease of life. We've actually designed two buildings in one. This will be transformed as housing, which is a reason why we've developed this notion of a village. Each of these volumes that you see will transform into apartments. Then the sense of community we're creating will then last longer. In leaving a lasting legacy, Morocco won't be alone, as the whole Expo site has been planned as a future and smart city. We are leaving an entire city as a legacy of Expo. A city that is totally redefines urban planning, as totally redefines the sustainability, minimal use of water, different ways of building roads from recycled tires, the layer of technology is extremely beyond any other cities across the world. Leaving behind one of the world's most technologically advanced cities, Expo 2020 is hoping it will continue to drive innovation long after its World Fair ends in six months' time. Eleni Jakas, CNN, Expo 2020, Dubai.